These are the 2023 second generation AirPods Pro, and Apple changed uh, quite a bit more than just the USB-C port. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and Apple released a refreshed version of its second generation AirPods Pro. Apple isn't calling them the third generation AirPods Pro, they're still just the second generation, but updated. So the biggest change is going to be that USB-C port, but what else did Apple change on these, if anything? And honestly, there might be a few changes that you didn't know about. So let's go ahead and compare the new 2023 second generation AirPods Pro against the original 2022 AirPods Pro. Physically, the 2023 AirPods Pro aren't dissimilar from the 2022 model. I mean, you're really not even going to notice a physical difference between the two, except for that USB Type-C port. Apple did move from Lightning, its proprietary port, to the open standard USB Type-C, same as it has with the iPhones. It's really handy because you can use that one cable to charge up your camera, to charge up your iPhone, and you can even plug in your AirPods to your iPhone 15 and charge one from the other. It's pretty darn handy. Other than that though, they're the same. It supports the same charging methods as before, including MagSafe, Qi, or even an Apple Watch Puck. Despite the appearance looking the same, these are more durable than the last generation. Apple has actually moved to IP54 resistance. Now, the IP ratings are basically the first one is the dust resistance and the second one is the water resistance. So with the original AirPods Pro, they were an IPX4 resistance, which means they did not test the dust resistance on these. Now, the new models have been updated to 54. So the five in IP54 means it'll withstand dust from getting into these AirPods Pro, and then the four that both of them share means it'll withstand jets of water coming from basically any angle. So those are the differences. So basically went from IPX4 to IP54 and has improved dust resistance. If you're carrying these around a lot in your pocket, dust resistance is definitely going to play a big part of keeping these lasting for longer. So I definitely appreciate the improvements to durability in the 2023 version of the AirPods Pro. Then there's the question of audio quality. This is up for debate in one way and not up for debate in another. See, the AirPods Pro 2023 edition will support lossless audio connected to Vision Pro. So they still have the same H series chip on the inside, but Apple did update the H series chip in the 2023 version to support five gigahertz audio. So when the new 2023 AirPods Pro are connected to Apple's upcoming Vision Pro, it will support lossless audio over the five gigahertz spectrum. It's a nice little addition for anyone who's planning on buying the Vision Pro. And I know some of you out there are probably like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna upgrade my AirPods Pro just for lossless audio on the Vision Pro. If you're someone who is buying the Vision Pro, my guess is that you're okay shelling out for an updated version of the AirPods Pro. Especially if you sell the old version, you're looking like a $100 price difference to buy the new ones. If you're buying an Apple Vision Pro, I think you're gonna be fine spending a hundred bucks to upgrade your AirPods for lossless audio. Outside of the Vision Pro though, some people are saying they're experiencing better audio while others are saying it's remained unchanged. Apple actually isn't saying anything. It's not promising better audio outside of the Vision Pro improvements. Uh, it's just saying it's an updated version of the second generation AirPods Pro. So I don't know. Personally, with my ears, going back and forth between the two, they both sound really good, above average audio quality for earbuds, but I'm not noticing a huge improvement to that audio quality. So it, it could be there, it very well could be. Uh, maybe you'll notice it, if anything, it might be in the high, just a little bit more definition on the high end of the spectrum. It still sounds really good. I, I'm, but I'm not gonna sit here and say, yeah, the new ones sound better and you should upgrade because of that. So yeah, that's the new 2023 AirPods Pro 2, the second generation, second generation AirPods Pro. The AirPods Pro 2 slash 3, AirPods Pro 2023, I don't know. It's honestly like they're almost a third generation, but Apple didn't want to go as far as saying a third generation because those are some significant improvements. Lossless audio with Vision Pro, USB-C charging, and improved durability, they're, they're good upgrades. That doesn't even count all the improvements that are coming to both generation of the AirPods Pro thanks to iOS 17. 
With iOS 17, the AirPods Pro 2 and the 2023 AirPods Pro 2 get three big new features. The first is adaptive audio. Basically, this is going to change the blend of transparency and noise cancellation based on where you are. So if you're in a crowded area, uh, there's a lot of hustle and bustle and background noise going on, or you're in an airplane, it's gonna improve or increase that noise cancellation. But if it detects that you're walking down the street, it might think you wanna be more aware and allow more of the outside noise to come in. There's also conversational awareness. This will automatically detect when you begin talking to somebody and it'll lower the volume of your content amplify that person's voice into your ears uh, and allow you to hear what's going on around you so you can talk to someone with your AirPods still in your ears. Finally, there's new personalized audio. This is really cool. So basically as you switch locations, time of day, it starts to learn how you like your AirPods Pro volume to be. So maybe at night in bed, you don't need it super loud, but maybe you're working out, you really like some loud tunes. So it starts to learn all these things and just using machine learning, it'll analyze this and start adjusting the volume for you when it thinks it knows what you're gonna to wanna to do. You can always override and change it, but it's cool, it's gonna be proactive in adjusting that for you. So I think both AirPods Pro 2 and the 2023 AirPods Pro 2 are getting some nice upgrades with iOS 17, but this new version, it's really cool. If you're in the market for AirPods Pro 2, for sure, buy these new ones with USB-C, improved durability, and lossless audio for, Air, for Vision Pro. But if you have the existing AirPods Pro 2, it's probably not worth spending another 250 bucks on. I mean, maybe not if you sell your old ones, but I don't know. I let, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew Hera 941. If you'd like to pick up the new AirPods Pro 2 2023 edition, uh, there's a link for them down below in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.